Welcome back. Today's episode is preparing for Barrows Brothers, our first boss. Specifically, the prayer part of the grind. Mixed in will be some questing for general quality of life and account structure building. There's a lot of stats that need raising to do Barrows comfortably, and 43 prayer is the biggest thing for all protection prayers. It's difficult for hardcore accounts because you can't use the Wildy Altar without risking high chance of dying. So normally hardcores typically kill blue dragons and use it on the Ecto Functus early on. However, that's boring. There is another method that has a lot of potential and this method is using the Archaea spellbook to reanimate insult heads. Specifically, you can kill Chaos Druids and use their insult heads to train your prayer. Each insult head is about 600 prayer XP and the Druids drop them at about a 1 in 30 or so. They're really easy to kill with a rune weapon as they only have 20 HP and do almost no damage. This method is really nice because you get a ton of herbs while you are training prayer at a decent rate. The herbs will come in very handy for prayer potions and helping my teammate Mutz rush to solve the elves. So there are hurdles I have to solve before I can do the Chaos Druid method for 43 prayer, which is getting 41 magic for the spell, the RCS favor for the Archaeus spell book, of 60% and getting 46 thieving to access the best Chaos Druid spot which is North of Vardy and you'll see all that progress unfold. Alright guys so I'm about to uh, end my night and some of my team members will be logging a bit earlier uh, tomorrow or I guess later today so I put in in my group about 30,000 GP of mine from all trading cats also put in about, uh, where's my willow logs? I put in 400 willow logs for these guys to use for willow burr houses. And I'm going to end my night with these stats here. 548 total. Beefing up the melee stats at Ammonite Crabs, of course. So here we go. Benson slot. So we do have different roles going on. And there's one particular role that is super obvious, like the production role. So Mutz is going to be the guy that's mostly in charge of crafting smithing etc because he is rushing some of the elves for the gauntlets and that means he needs to get uh, base 70s and like a lot of different production skills asap so it's more important that i give him my resources so he can train it in return he gives us the finished product so i'm getting a bunch of jewelry teleports dueling rings games necklaces so i can do bird houses and just teleport around the map a lot easier I am not training my construction right now, so the bank that I use for Fossil Island is the little island that's on the coast that you can access by just clicking on the boats throughout the Fossil Island and getting the option to go there. Ah, there it is. Uh, Teak Burr Houses. Sweet. So I can combo unlocking Arceus Spellbook and training my magic to unlocking the Insul Head animation spell at the same time by doing the Arceus or Archaeus library. So this one is super easy to do with the Runelight library helper. It'll essentially tell you where all the books are. So all you do is ask the NPC for the book that they want. So that way when you come back to the NPC and you ask the other NPC what they want, you might already have the book so you can save a lot of time. And yes, the magic XP is really good. Also collecting the books gives Arceus favors. So yeah, that also unlocks the spell book on the way and it's super, super fast with the plugin to get all the way to 60 and even 100. Oh, it stops, but it's okay. I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm definitely gonna train my magic. Jeez, runecrafting is so poor right now. God damn, look at me go. Jesus, look at this XP. I am unstoppable. Wow, just like that, boom, easy. We are done, 41 magic. Okay, we're gonna switch spell books and it should show this. Here we go. Adept reanimation. Three nature runes, body runes, and soul runes. So Mutz unlocked the Sudoku uh, box from Mori Alice Mori Alisan or whatever his name is. He, he should be able to help me buy some of these runes. Oh, that was just enough for 73? No, I just bought 73. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> How much left over? Oh, sick, sick. Alright, keep it, keep it. This is your, uh, rune Do you have money? Yeah, I have 20k. Oh, okay. That's your finder's fee. Yeah, finder's fee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Let's, let's go try out this, uh, method. 
All right, my friend, it is time to get some nature runes, bro. All right, make spirit fuse. Thank you for the nature runes. This should be exactly enough to do everything. Yes. Yay, 15%. Let's go. Time to steal from the Hosidious fruit and get hella, hella Demon XP. Yeah, this is not bad. 27 to 30k an hour. I lost uh, quite a bit of XP in the beginning though, tracking this, testing out the other spot. But the other spot was so crowded that it ended up being worse XP per hour than, than the original spot here, closer to the bank. This is it! Yes, 46 thieving. Oh my days. Okay, hopefully the wiki is correct and I need 46 to open that door. Uh, at the Chaos Druid place. Let's go! Time to train prayer and collect a crap ton of herbs. Let's freaking go, dude. So this is loot from six levels of the fruit stalls. It is amazing, I have to tell you. It is amazing, because I just got 48 banana baskets. Tons of payments for, for me and the boys. Uh, 80 uh, apple baskets, 17 strawberries, might save that. Um, yeah, and 15 tops for farming boots, 64 uh, strange fruits, really good. They're like budget stamina, so... Shout out to the viewers for reminding me that you can fish karambonjis without actually even starting the quest. And they're really good for your cat raising, because they stack and they're super easy to get. But watch out for the hobgoblins, they're dangerous. Make sure to bring some food just in case. All right, if my strategy works, this this will be a perfect perfection. Here we go. I will train my strength. Yes, I'm not going to have rune armor for a while. All right, we get to use a shortcut. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent shortcut. And then and then and then and then there's this little tower here. I don't think anybody's been here in about a decade. To be honest. Oh my God, yes. Free chaos roots, my world, my room, and we just chill here. That's it. We literally just chill here, and we train and we have fun. It's amazing. Hell yeah! Alrighty, let's uh, get some chaos root hits. We need about seventy of them. So, oh, there it is, the insult head, the first one. I need about. Uh... Let me just kill this guy first. Actually, let me just activate this real quick. Yes, I can animate them as long as it's in the uh, place that I got it from. Yo, cat, please, you're ruining the, the you're ruining the like the screenshot. And 584 per XP just like that, fat. The fattest XP in town, boys. <clears throat> Oh yeah, 31 prayer. Huh. Yes. 12 more levels to go. Got some tea logs from Mutz because he went ahead and uh, cut some of the teaks. Saves me some time for having to cut mine for birdhouses. Alright, so I just talked with Fuse. He's going to try to rush Barrel's gloves. So I guess we all have slightly different things to rush for. Just make sure that uh, you start the quest before you go for it because... If you don't, the chance of getting helm robes are actually uh, not that good. But your your rates are boosted when you start this task. So now I can go and uh, get all these ham stuff. Save some time. Please. Yes, I got it. Oh my god. Wow. I was missing two gloves for the end. That's like the worst thing that can happen. But we did it. Ah, oh, I can't use the group storage right now. Damn it. God dang it, Jagex. I was about to grab some teaks from the share, but they closed it because of some, I don't know, some sort of bug or maintenance or whatever. Oh, Monka. But it's okay. I have a tinder box. Easy, easy save, boys. Easy save. All right, we finished Death to Dorgishen. So that's really nice for the ham chest as a post quest reward. You can get a lot of jewelry, which you can sell for money, or you can enchant. Also, I do have some ham rope set left over, so I'm gonna give that to my partner Fuse, because he's gonna do that quest next. So I can save him some time from having to thief. So I decided I should get some really easy melee upgrades before I go back to Chaos Druids. Mainly a Emily of Strength, because that's 10 strength bonus, which is two max hits like guaranteed, so it'll be really good for Chaos Druids. 
since I'm using melee. And also climbing boots. I went ahead and get climbing boots too for the plus two strength, which is about three damage total. So, and on the side, I got a bunch of jewelry that I can uh, share amongst my teammates for different teleports and extra things like strength and moves. Yo, thank you, uh, Arisco. Thank you, thank you. This is my first time doing the insole head method for Chaos Druids. And it was really, really good. It only took me about a few hours total to get from 30 to 43 prayer. And on the plus side, I gained a lot of combat experience and a lot of herbs. And in this particular spot here, this tower north of Arty, is so, so nice because they're all in a very small room. So you will basically never waste time doing nothing. You can always kill something and then immediately hit something else and not waste any time whatsoever and you also never have to worry about losing run i pretty much run from the bank here and back and forth constantly without ever having to worry about run so it's super nice and efficient way better than trying to kill chaos truths and tavli because the walk from the bank is astronomically slower so if you're gonna kill chaos truths and train prayer definitely choose this spot and finally i am 43 prayer and that was really refreshing training method. I actually enjoy this quite a lot. So I definitely consider this method if you're looking for something new and if you need a lot of herbs, you which, yeah, you probably do. As you can see, the loot is super spicy. I have almost 60 Ranar, so that's like 60 prayer pots, like 44 doses right there. A lot of Guam as well, over 150. So when I present this to Mutz, he's probably gonna be like, hella you know hella happy with that so i think i did a pretty good job in terms of helping my boy get some herb levels and in terms of me getting some prayer pots for barrels oh yeah i got quite a bit of start off and whatnot so that should also come in good xp for later levels all right gonna hit up the boy with some herbs because this man's gonna have to rush a lot of skills early on so we give him all the stuff from uh <laughs> yo he just said holy <laughs> yeah buddy yeah uh, actually i'm watching a stream right now so i'll give you a pov <laughs> yeah. holy guams <laughs> oh my god now that is a lot of herbs holy <laughs> jeez Man's been gaming. I got 50 mage while I was AFKing some ammonites. And that is the Ivan Staff requirement. But I'm not getting the Ivan Staff until it's pretty much the last thing I need for barrels. Just because, yeah, it's expensive and I need to get the money. So it'll take a bit. Holy shit. That took forever. Uh, yeah, definitely put this on range at this point. There you go, sweet. I can now uh, wear my Dorgish and Crossbow. Um, yeah, we're gonna go back to Ice Trolls, you know? Haven't done this in a while. Oh, I don't have a hammer? Are you serious? But, yeah. We're gonna work on the free mini trials now. And, yeah, unlock ice rolls and make some money because I got to train my range stats and my magic st uh, stats up for barrels anyways, so. Uh, 50 is okay, but 55 would be nice. So I can high out and stuff. I got it! Let's go. Two times the try rate, but it's all good. Ugh, just camp two houses. And it's fast enough. Ah, oh, goodness. Alright, do I go on my knees yet? Okay, there we go. Nice, 1 HP. <sighs> Gosh. Yeah, I lived. Feels good, man. No glitches. I lived. Nice. Yo, Freemanic Isles. Let's go. Coming up. Wow, look at all these levels. Holy shit. Like, tw dude, 18 levels or something. So wait, I got the spots sorted. Okay. Oh, yo, granite shield. Oh, snap. I don't think I'm going to out this, though. 
Let's do a quick summary of our overall progress in terms of skill levels. I can't talk about PVM too much since we haven't gotten any PVM items yet, it's too early. But yeah, in terms of scaling, we're number 15 in the overall rank for 3-man hardcore teams. Also, we have a total of 2,350 uh, levels and um, Fuse has the highest total, I have the highest EXP. Let's look at Mus. His stats are really good all around because he's going to be doing a lot of scaling for somebody else. So his stats overall in the core skills like production skills, her blur and stuff is much higher than mine. Much higher than Fuse's as well. I'm not really sure where all this extra level is coming from. Oh, I'm assuming it's like fire making and stuff. I haven't touched it at all personally as you can see. <laughs> one fire making, one runecraft. I, I haven't messed with those because I am rushing for barrels and those stats don't have jack to do with barrels. So yeah, I'm focusing more on combat right now. As you can see, my combat stats are definitely getting higher versus everybody else. 